Hello, welcome back to Ark Knights. Um, once again, I haven't recorded in a little bit, but this, and because of that, this video is going to have to go up on Tuesday. Uh, a lot of stuff has been just happening lately and not much I can really say. However, I did see that I got a free 10 pull and I have enough for 20 pulls more. So let's, uh, let's do some pulls. <laughs> I haven't summoned a unit in forever. So, head on 10. Confirm. Allah! Come on, let's get the Rainbow Six Siege champ. Right? No. Doctor, Rose Island has done so much for me. What can I say except thank you? If you need anything, just say the word. I'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. His voice was weird. <laughs> This one doesn't have a voice actor that's in English. <laughs> Bro. Hello, I'm Roberta. We meet again. I don't know if it's better. Once I sign here, I'll be your personal stylist, right? Huh. You'll be an operator. <laughs> doesn't... Thank you for choosing Fire Whistle Security Services. Five star! <laughs> Code name? Um, just call me Fire Whistle. Yep, that's the key to raising brand awareness. Okay. Hi, I'm Spot from Operation Reserve Team A6. My job is to okay, Spot. I know who you are. Hello. Hi, Cardigan. Such a big mobile facility before. I'm so excited. Another four star. Hello, I'm Hayes. Hello, Hayes. I like relaxing work environments. And an employer who knows that I am Ansel, a medical intern. I'll yeah, that wasn't a good poll. I don't know what uh, fire watch or fire whatever does. Uh, I have so many J's, so this isn't anything new. That's crazy. Now I do more, right? <laughs> Just keep going. I'm gonna get Ella. Whoop! Ooh, another five star. Oh! Hello! I've never been in such a big mobile facility before. I'm okay, so Cardigan. Mean. I don't care about you. I can't Embryo, skip this either. Hi, Embryo. All right, that's introductions out of the way before they give me a headache. Ally, I salute you in true realm fashion. My code name is Matterhorn. Konnichiwa, Doctor. Utaj. Atashi wa utage. Operator ni wa mada naritate hoya hoya da kedo ne. I'm Melenta. I'm Melenta. I'm Lava. Lava. Here to of join course. you simply because I'm bored and want something to do. But I heard my sworn nemesis is here too, though. I am Shirayuki. Shirayuki. Princess Mizuki told me to assist Miss Chen and follow. Oh, three star. The catapult. Catapult reporting in. Hey. I think I already have her mess. Uh, max. On that stuffy old bit. I mean, that esteem. Five star. Akafuyu. Akafuyu. Another um, five star. Are you doctor? Yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Another five star. That's crazy. Let's see. Will I get Ella? <clears throat> no, I didn't. Uh, skip. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait. I have headhunting permits, though. Hi. Uh, my name is Gray. Hi, Gray. I shouldn't I'm have done that. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ella. No, Ella. That's disappointing. Who did I get? Tell me your name already. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Oh, Perfumer Shard. I'm Lena, the or token. Interesting job, right? Oh. Hop, 
<laughs> ah, another four star. Just give me a six star. Come on, you know you wanna. The name's Rope. Nice to meet you. Hello, Rope. Oh, here's your ID card. Don't. Last one. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Fuck. My code name is Beagle. Oh, shut up. I know I didn't do very well on my assessment, but I'll still do my best at my... Shut up. Okay, well, that was 35 summons and nothing. I don't know. Well, I got two five stars, I guess. I don't know if they're good, though. I'll take that. I'll also take as much of this as I can, because I need more. <laughs> oh, I can do another summon. Three more summons. I get Ella. I'm gonna do this one. Two. These two. Oh, 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 oh. Aw, skip. Fuck you. It's a mouse. Please call me Moon. Oh, oh, oh. Aw. My name's Gummy. Hi, Gummy. You must be the doctor. Thank doctor. you and everyone from Rhodes Island for helping Oh, it's us. Russian. That was crazy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Russian accent. Okay, this is the last one, guys. I'm gonna get a six star. Huh! Uh, a six star, but that's still pretty cool. I'm Ashlock Greynetti of Pina Sylvester's nightclub. Thank you for taking us in. You're welcome. Who the fuck were you again? Story, story, story. Let's get into it now. New event. Rainbow Six Siege event. It's Iana. We've arrived at Magnet Magnet Hill number two. Repeat, we've arrived at Magnet Hill number two. Doc, how are things on your side? Doc, exterior clear. Oh yeah, Doc, literally the six Rage, Ra Ra Rainbow Six character. Considering the unique properties of Magnet Hill number two, I suggest we meet up. Agreed. Drone recon report, Iana. Almost no different from the way we left it. Readings are virtually the same, and there is no sign of activity from any other party. Looks like the quarantine on Magnet Hill number two has been pretty well enforced. Which is to say, there's nobody here. And that's not good news, because we're here to look for a missing Ash Squad. Duh. Keep your eyes open. We'll proceed We'll proceed to Levy's, <clears throat> Levy's main lab once we rendezvous. I have a lot of energy today, so it's hard to read. This is going to be a rough episode for you guys. <laughs> Here we are. Doc and Fuse. Are you sure? This is where Levy's main lab was, according to the map. We were only one step behind Cohen. <coughs> there were tremors then. I don't know if it was Madman Levy or something wrong with the equipment, but the whole lab disappeared into thin air. Into thin air? Are you sure? I'd say that in my expert opinion, it's the most fitting description of the events. That doesn't seem possible. No explosion can wipe out all evidence that a lab ever existed. It wouldn't have left a big hole like this, sending only a few tremors through those outside. Of course, Fuse would know him with his bombs. <laughs> earthquake, or is it like you said? It's not an earthquake. The tremors might be, <laughs> might well be linked with the disappearance. Find cover and wait for the tremors to pass. Oh. Grumbling soldier. How many floors are there? My legs are starting to scream. Keep going up. We need to reach the Reynolds penthouse. Can't we take the elevator? Why do we have to climb these stairs floor by floor? You think I don't want to? Recon report on the security here indicates that the penthouse is only accessible by the stairs and his own private elevator. There are guards posted by the elevator on every floor. Security is weakest on the stairs. That's where they we break through. Guy's just a Kazimierzin who came to make some money, isn't he? It's not like he was he has anybody backing him up. I don't I'm so sorry. Today's gonna be a rough 
episode for me. Why do we have to be so careful just to get him to sign a transfer agreement? He has money. That's all the backing he needs. Keep moving. Quit looking around. I'm completely spent, boss. I'd rather take the lift and fight my way through. Shh. Captain? We've almost reached the office. Quiet down. Why complain when you're almost at the top of the stairs? <laughs> Surely they'd know that. Who are you? Who are you? A letter? I told you, you can open those on your own. No need to ask me. It says for your eyes only, Raynal. Wait, who was that? Oh, okay. Uh, where is it from? Kazimir's. Looks like it's from your uncle. Ah, the usual inheritance demand. Also, one from Dossilus Municipal Government. A letter from the city. Probably nothing important. Should be another stupid banquet invitation. Maybe Candela will be there. We could discuss the opening ceremony with her. It's not far off, after all, and you've spent so much time and effort on it. It's probably going to be spectacular. Come, stand with me, Milaz. I don't know how to say that kind of L with the line through it. The man walks up and stands by the red-haired Volpo's side. They admire the artwork of... At the end of the room... Sorry, something just almost fell over on my desk. About the height of two persons. I'm going to the fall of order. What do you think? Uh, sure. You want to show it at the opening? We've always been straight with the, each other, haven't we? Is that twisted curve intended to represent this fall? No, it represents the fleeting gaze of society on man. A dogmatic gaze that considers all that does not conform to the to be madness. <clears throat> Lines that can only emerge from a post-profound silence Liberia, Iberia. The Iberian Inquisition, certainly a symbol of order. On the right, does that indescribable <laughs> cone represent the spires of Lanthian? Leithanian? No, imagine Sargon and its millennia of wind and sand. The Lord's Emir, the Padishah, the Golden City. Fantasizing the exotic is also a construct of internal order. The last gasp of imagination, once broad, now left with nothing but cliche. Yes, right, that makes sense. <laughs> Pulled all that directly out of my behind. Uh, your artistic style has always been unique, from medium to expression. Oh, yeah, I should probably... Sorry, my headphones are fully charged and it's tickling my arm. How many golf balls did it take? A thousand? Two thousand? That's not important. <laughs> What's important is the last one. Would you do me a favor and put the finishing touch on it by placing this one on top? What would happen? Uh, it will be completed. And at that moment... Oh, it's the guards. You see shadows flash past the bottom gap of the office door. The door is kicked open before he could react. The whole room trembles, causing the teetering sculpture before him to collapse, sending golf balls flying everywhere. The fall? <laughs> oh, what an ass. Raynal, and you. Secretary over there. Hands on your heads and get down. No sudden moves. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You and your boss are going to come quietly if you know what's good for you. Something is approaching rapidly from above. Must be a particularly big fall beast, <clears throat> the officer thought. He pays no heed to it and points his crossbow at Raynal. The half-collapsed golf ball sculpture standing between them. Then he hears a loud noise from the ceiling, right above what remains of the sculpture. Then another. This time, a large hole appears in the ceiling, along with the sound of broken planks. Several dark shadows fall through the shrapnel mix mixed dust onto the floor of Reynolds' office, smashing what remained of the sculpture, sending golf balls flying in all directions. The soldier was about to let out an expletive, <laughs> but it died in his throat. The shadows began to move. Vitella! Everybody all right? It's one o'clock. Just a little scrape. I'm fine. Doc? I, I, I'm okay. Yana gives Doc a hand and sees he's holding a golf ball, which left a round mark on his forehead. <laughs> I will say it's weird seeing him without a mask on, because in the game he almost always has a mask on. Well, oh, that's his mask right there. Okay. So, not his elite skin, I don't think, but... Other than a little knock from a golf ball. Next question. 
Anyone know what happened other than that we fell so we somehow fell into a pile of golf balls? <laughs> Why didn't we just go in through the roof? We wouldn't have had to climb all those stairs if we did that. Shut up. Prepare to engage. A crossbow. <laughs> Prepare to engage. <laughs> That's a little extreme. I guess you aren't exactly friends. Did you bring a weapon, Moaz? Nope. Well, in that case, you better duke it out amongst yourselves to decide who gets to kidnap me. There's only one of me, after all. He pours himself a drink. A drink, Moaz? Uh, pass. I still have to protect you. Kidnap? A furry kidnapping party? That's new. <laughs> a furry kidnapping party? Oh my god. That, that would be Fuse. Enough chit-chat. Drop your weapons and get away from Raynal, or we'll shoot. Well, they're coming for us, kidnappers or not. Find cover! Yana, Doc, take a non-combatants and get out of here. Fuse, I'll cover you. That's a little bit of an overkill. No Sancta Halos, and they don't look like Black Steel either. Do these idiots have a death wish? They, they, they just think guns look cool? Move! Don't let them get away from Ray, with Raynal. On your 10, Liana. She make her little clone change, charge out. Ooh! Hostile down. These guns aren't just for looks. Stand your ground, we have backup. Reserve squad, quit fooling around and get out here. Is Fuse gonna blow up the hostage? I mean, Raynal? I can't get to the non-combatants. There aren't too many of them. Eon and I are suppressed. We're loading. I'm up. Frag out! Bro, this is overkill. Ineffective. Hostiles are blast resistant. <laughs> Roger. Fuse. Smoke. Okay, so Fuse. There's no point. Fuse, don't kill the hostage. Smoke. Grenade out. Smoke won't solve this real problem. Need a cluster charge? I still have plenty. That's one way, but... Gersbot <laughs> works better here. Yana, yeah, duck. Get those non combatants to cover. Fuse and I will cover. Firing. Is he using. Wait, was he using. Oh, I can't. I have to see another picture. Don't resist. I'm taking you to cover. Why do we have to. Look out! A sneak attack? Looks like you're more than just a secretary. You talk too much. Get back, sir. You're in the line of fire. <laughs> Trying to fight real weapons with a wine bottle? Dumbat. Very immature. Oh, is he using uh his revolver? <laughs> He's out cold. I'll carry him. You get that guy in white. They're trying to take Raynal away. Stop them! We can't get close. Their guns are fired too quickly. Damn it. What the hell are you doing <laughs> when they're not firing? They keep finding dead zones and their coordination. There are only four of them. How many guys do we have? Doesn't matter. If you did a terrorist hunt and <laughs> siege, you'd see that they could kill a squad of 30. We're in cover. We can hold out for a while. We're loading. That guy's out. Get him. Yana, smoke. Smoke grenade out. <laughs> Another smoke grenade? That's the best you can. Flying out. Sticking it. Here's a memento. Get out of the way, Fuse. He was using his LMG. His LMG is so strong. The other two are trying to get hide. Strand them in. Eon a landmine. Or the goo mine. But... Hi, Doc. That's the MP5. That's his MP5 and that's his revolver. Swarmed without any caution for possible explosives. No tactical awareness whatsoever. Let's disarm them first. Tent to the wounded, Doc. I don't know Ella's guns because I never really played her when I played Siege. So, all I know is that she leaves like a, a landmine sticking out of like a big cluster of what looks like a clay. Clear. 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 <gasps> all clear. No casualties. That's good news. Even though we were shooting into incapacitate, incapacitate rather than kill, these guys were still unusually tough. 
That one there survived a full shotgun blast at point blank range. Wait, he has a shotgun on him? Is that a shotgun? Wait. Oh, I need another picture. Good news, indeed. Oh, it is a shotgun. I thought it was the MP5. Okay. One more thing. Not sure what it means. But look at the animal ears. You can see blood vessels if you look closely. What? Is that part of Levy's research, too? My compass isn't working. What about yours, Doc? If we're really near Magnet Hill number two in the southern Urals. Doc looks behind him where the wind is blowing with curtains open. The squad walks out to the balcony and takes in the sight outside. This is cool. Fuse is one of my favorite characters and so is Doc. And Iana actually. She's the only one I didn't play. Um, Iana's cloning ability was very helpful when she first came out. <laughs> the setting sun shines down between towering skyscrapers, painting the waters red. Tourists in swimsuits lie on the beach, enjoying a lazy holiday afternoon set to ice cream trucks music. The only man in the room who can still stand slowly walks towards them. This is the Urals. Then I'm George Clooney. <laughs> it's clear we're no longer in the mission area. Did we teleport? Where to? The Maldives? It looks like a vacation spot, all right, but I don't think this is the Maldives. Uh, this is a cool picture. Ah, yeah, I love this. This is cool. Uh, maybe we can ask the unfortunate victims. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, yeah, I guess he would be the only one not <laughs> incapacitated. Did you answer a few questions, sir? Who are you? What is this place? And who are, th who are those armed men? I'm happy to explain a few things out of gratitude for the surprising ending that you created for my work. Before formal introductions, however, I must correct one premise. I was never an unfortunate victim. Not before, not now, not ever. Can we get back on topic? Very well. Welcome to the dark heart of Bolivar. Welcome to Dossele's. My name is Raynal Kowalski. Kowal <laughs> Call me Ella, Mr. Raynal. But given that we need to quickly grasp our situation, I think we can cut the, intro cut the introductions. I'll ask and you'll answer, alright? Doesn't look like I have a choice. Which country does Dusselais belong to? Bolivar. In name, at least. Bolivar. You mean Bolivia? I... <laughs> Uh, I don't know a city named Dusselies in Bolivia. What about you, Iana? No. Let's try another way. Which continent are we on? South America? Continent? I'm not sure what you mean. If you mean the name of our landmass, that's Terra, obviously. Galno? Kajimirzin? Oh, it's not every day I hear my mother tongue spoken. Your mother tongue? Nothing. Keep going. I never thought I would be asking this, but Mr. Raynal, are we on planet Earth? Planet Earth? I thought all I had to do was answer questions, but now I ha <laughs> I'm beginning to have a few of my own. Yana, maybe you can do better with the questions. Yana. Yana does not answer. Her eyes are wide, staring at the horizon in the opposite direction of the setting sun. The others follow her gaze. Two moons are rising slowly in the distance. One brighter than the other. That's cool. Oh, who are you? Strangely dressed Deeran. Damn, only have time for one doodle before they found out. That was close. Gave me a fright when all these people suddenly showed up. Hold it right there, girl. You don't you don't get away from vandalizing the Galeria. Shoot, I better go. You got lucky today, Raynal. They ain't in Kansas no more. <laughs> oh, a tutorial. Oh, yeah. I wonder what the the mechanic is. Special place calls for special order. Please refrain from poking your head out of cover before the start of the tour to ensure the best experience. Uh, who are you? Oh, it's Yana. Okay, it's weird just seeing her picture like that. Oh, it's Jessica, too. I arrived at the target zone. 
Visibility's fine. Just make sure a good deployment point. Wait. All right. The enemies here will launch straight shot against the operator in the same straight lane. Wait, what? Posing a threat to our operators deployed in high ground. Sorry, I guess my armor isn't thick enough. We can position ourselves behind a barricade to avoid being hit with these straight shots. These objects block the enemy's line of sight, and they normally won't ha make a straight shot at an operator behind an obstruction. Of course, we can also deploy an operator within the enemy's line of sight in order to bait out the straight shot. Leave the baiting work to me. Okay. So these enemies just hit super hard. And that's basically it? I mean, come on. I'll definitely prove myself this time. Huh? Why are those attacking? Why are they attacking the barricade? The drone we just took down has exposed our operators around the scratch site. Once an operator is exposed, the enemies can launch straight shot at them, even if they are behind a barricade. An exposed operator takes more damage as well. Thank goodness the barricade will take a few straight shots before it crumbles. We must take out the enemies now. Standing by. Freeze. Okay. So that's the same as Caviera's ability to expose an ally or an enemy. All units, find cover behind barricades and take up combat positions. I scouted the situation above. The enemies are gathering near cover. Then it's time for a cluster charge. Be careful, there are enemies waiting to strike down from below as well. Don't worry, I'm here. Come on, Focus use your cluster charge. Of course he's using his revolver as his main gun. Try not to get yourselves hurt. Remember, hold position. God, that sound Ready is so go. nostalgic. A tooth for a tooth. Here's a memento. When switching to a substitute, immediately deal 400 attack damage as physical damage to the attacker of the holographic mirage, as well as the enemy around it. Go for me. <laughs> well, that was fucking loud. An eye for an eye. Oh, is he just I barely out of rain? Ready to go. I'll get the cryo. I've got your back. That was taking way too long. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so I need to use these barricades properly so that. Yeah. Oh, it's even the barricade from in the game with the X. That's cute. So is Castle in this then? Can I put up a metal barricade instead? Ugh. That sound though that fuse the fuse charges made was fo so funny I, because that's the actual sound. I really did it. I managed to protect everyone by myself. That splash art did not fit the voice line at all. Okay. Let's get into it. Combat props. Oh, okay. I can't use those. I'll take a pack of dried cactus. Auntie Marco's, por favor. Auntie Marco doesn't put as much additives. It's not as good as Uncle Marco's. Uh, one pack of dried cactus. I'm starving. You look like you've been up all night. Developing photos? I can't help that inspiration likes to strike in the middle of the night. So when are you going to have my photo ready? Oh, I remember now. The one you said was a gift for the girl who's into metal music? She dumped me last month. Memories like to disappear in the middle of the night, too. 
Of all the photographers here, I had to pick the one who could never make a deadline. Back from the Galer Galleria? Techno? How was it? Get lost. What's the matter? Things didn't go well? Didn't you say last night that you were going to spray paint the whole place? What does that palace of his look like on the inside? I heard it's a large collection of works from famous artists. I should have gone with you. I hardly get a doodle. Got a doodle in before I had to run for my life. Tsk, tsk, <laughs> Well, you'll get another chance. And bring me along next time. Me too. <laughs> Enough of that. You too. Where's the old man? He's in a bad mood. Hold up some... Hold himself up in the room all day. The fuck? Just got attacked by a bug. I guess he's waiting for your good news. So just to confirm, you don't know Levy. Correct. And I should confirm that you don't know my uncle, right? Tall, wears glasses, smiles in the creepiest way you can imagine. Say no anymore, and I'll start to wonder if your uncle is the one that we're looking for. Uh, I think it's just another unpleasant coincidence. Now that we've resolved our misunderstandings, would you like a drink? No, thank you, Mr. Rennell. Uh, we have to go. Why are you shaking, Yana? If we're not dreaming or hallucinating, we've been shot out by some unknown power through time or space and landed in this place. A faraway planet or Earth in some unimaginable dimension of time. I'm just excited, Ella. Excited? Okay, that, that wouldn't be the reaction that most people would have. I get it, but we're not just facing a strange world. We have strange problems, too. So stay calm, no matter how excited you feel. Sorry. Let's go, friends. Hopefully, we can... We can a place to stay. We find a place to stay before nightfall. Well, there's no need for doom and gloom. I'm not ungrateful for you saving my life. I could at least offer a room with four walls and a roof. Unless you really wanted to sleep on a cardboard... Beneath the sky. It's going to rain. We won't take it for free, Mr. Rennell. For as long as we accept your hospitality, we will protect you and ensure there won't be any other armed men charging into your room. It's the butler. Or falling through the roof. That will do, Malaz. Uh, she knows what she's doing. But we don't know anything about them, Rennell. This is our chance to learn. You're always so willful. You know me. If you're going to turn us down, it would be nice to do it quickly. No, I have no objections. Uh, let's get your employment contract drafted before HR leaves for the day. Um, <clears throat> Diaz, I'm back. Uh, I heard you were waiting for me. I, I couldn't do it, but I didn't get hurt either. Said. What are you watching? That. Rennell, what is he blabbering about this time? Mr. Rennell, as Galleria Kritzawa prepares for its grand opening, a local community is also planning an arts, arts festival. When? What are your thoughts about this? I have a lot of respect for art. The people who live there have good ideas and interesting creations, but an arts festival is not something that can be organized by just anybody. They don't have any professional buy-in. It is silly to compare the two. The Galleria has far more significance than their arts festival. We have gathered artwork from across the world in Dutzelis. Demonstrating the diversity of culture and art. While providing a platform for art lovers everywhere. The importance it poses to... Oh, shit. Fuck! The importance it poses to the development of art in Dutzelis is not something that some amateur arts festival can hope to match that peddler call us amateurs not the first time we've been at odds all those organizations and critics have used our community as a tool to suck up to him on his first day in desolies he talks crap about us using our works as comparison to promote his own garbage he's blocking us at every turn from exhibitions exhibitions disc releases even small performances Remember his so-called community development project? It was a hot mess, and we eventually brought it down. Yeah, the hate is mutual. Like you. You went to tag up his Galleria, didn't you? 
He was the one who hired a writer to blast my friend's work in the papers. Well, since when has he ever <clears throat> said anything good about us? Let him... I have a couple more words. A couple words that I want to say on behalf of the Desilese artists. Why has Galleria Kritzawa... Uh, Chris... Chris Dawa drawn so much attention, achieved so much. It's because he rep we represent what is truly value, what is truly of value in the Desilies art scene. Absorbing the cultural nutrients of Desilies and representing her true spirit, that is the reason why I built Galleria Kritzawa. Uh, who do you say he's representing? All Desilies artists? Where had, Where was he when we put on a concert for the musicians who escaped the Cygna's Singa's garden. What is what is going on in this one? I don't know the story at all. Where was he when we were translating new Ursus novels? What has he ever done for the art on Desilies? <clears throat> How dare he claim to represent Desilies? All right, old man, calm down, calm down. Calm down? Do you know he's opening a, his class house on the same day as our arts festival? What? I didn't believe it when I heard it about it this morning, but he said it on air. It's the same day. What do we do then? We do what we want. Who cares about him? It's more important to stay focused on taking care of our own. Don't waste your time on him. So, the Raynal guy is anal. Capitan Mateo. Okay. Is this everyone who made it back? It's just... Capitan was crazy to see because one of the operators in uh, <laughs> Siege is ca named Capitan. Is this everyone who made it back? I Go on, what happened? Reynolds' guards dropped down from the sky and stopped us. We lost a lot of men. I escaped with the survivors. How many of them were there? Four. Just four? Armed with guns. Very well trained. The way they fought was unusual. We couldn't get through. Guns. Sancta? No mention of them in the report on Rennell. Could it be Blacksteel? So, sir, I will take full responsibility for the failure. Please don't punish anyone else. Hmm. You're loyal to your men. I no need to be so jittery. That's not a bad thing. Our intel was insufficient. That's all. Now we know more. Take that box on your way out. There's money in casino chips, chips in, in it. inside it. How was that? Share it with your men and have some fun in the casino. On me. Capitan, are you sure? Keep your ears open. Tongues are loose in a place like that. Yes, sir. I'll report if I hear anything. What about that community? The brass are punishing or pushing. Uh, it's the last piece of the puzzle for the entertainment district project. Oh shit! I just kicked my power cord. Good thing it didn't unplug. We've just got to find a way. If Randall won't budge, we could start with the community directly. Yes, sir. I'll pay particular attention to anything about that that place. You're my first choice when it your first choice to manage the entertainment district once it's built. Don't disappoint me. I won't. <sighs> You're here earlier than I expected. Again. I don't like to make people wait. Sorry about that. There was a bit of traffic. It's nine o'clock on the dot. You're not too late. I used to be punctual, but then I realized that people here like to be fashionably late. No problem. I got time to check out the ex ex the exhibits. The gallery is use the light is use of light is unique. Natural light during the day and then bright as day again at night. Do you like art? No, just a little curious. Feel free to look <clears throat> to take a look around during your free time. You probably won't get a chance once the gallery is officially open. What? No employee tickets? Of course there are. What I mean is you'll be able to take the time to appreciate a work a work you like before the place is... What did that say? Before the place is with crowds? It's filled with crowds. Sometimes it's not the crowd that affects our, your mood. It's particularly creepy painting. You mean the one at the end of the hallway? That's not a famous piece. It's a portrait of Reynolds' father. He was the one who left behind the legacy that allowed us to build the Galleria. Far from home and collect masterpieces from all across Terra. That's why Raynal... Anal. Raynal <laughs> always <laughs> felt it was important to do something to commemorate his father. Like putting up a huge portrait here. Raynal 
wants everyone to see his father clearly. Anyway, it's just a portrait. Both Raynal and I believe Ko Mr. Kowalski's merit goes far beyond that. A faithful son, I see. It's almost time. I'll take you to him. This looks like one of the maps on Siege. <laughs> I'm meaning to ask, why do all visitors have to climb the stairs to get to the penthouse? This looks like a, a staircase on skyscraper map on the skyscraper map on rainbow six siege he prefers people ex expend some kind of effort to come in and find him everyone has to take at least one flight of stairs i've never seen him do it himself he has his personal elevator it's the only one in the galleria's office area and these are the only stairs it's unlike what a genius would do all right the silver lining is that it, it makes security simpler. Anything else I need to know? No, you have one job. Keep him alive. What about at night? Do you need us to rotate shifts? No, I'll be there at night. So he's not useless, at least. Oh, this is so cool. It makes me want to play Rainbow Six Siege. Deploying. Early an improved version of the monster that can be launched ranged attacks. Oh, it's just a strong... Okay. Uh, this makes me want to play Siege, so if you guys want to see me play some Siege again, I could probably play it for a video. That'd be fun. Ooh. Come out, Azuzie. Blast a bitch. Okay, now let's place, place a healer and see if this is a good enough team to just do this mission. This might be a strong enough team to just do anything, actually. <laughs> you want my opinion? You want my opinion? I can see their souls. They're mine to read. Sorry. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> that was a little overkill. Definitely worth it though. She really can't reach that far. That sucks. You want my opinion? Emotion is meaningless here. Wow, she's so strong. What the fuck? Speeding up. Yes. Come on, chin up. That poor man. <laughs> Absolutely castrated. <laughs> Oh my god. That is not fair. Miss Ella, are your friends not with you? Your guards are very interested in Fuse and wouldn't stop asking questions. I left him there since you said you wanted to get them trained up. You said there were four of you. Going by what we agreed on, two of us will protect you while the others continue our search here. They'll be on hand if we need them. You're not going out in the public today anyway. <clears throat> Just curious. In fact, it's easier on me with fewer people around. I saw you have two top secret meetings on your schedule. I do? What meetings? How would he not know about his own meetings? What is this? Bungee jumping? That's a meeting? Of course. Malo <laughs> Let me do this. Well, he's not here today. Why not seize the opportunity? As your bodyguard, I advise you to rethink this. As your employer, I advise you to advise less. <laughs> Is my safety harness ready? Yes, sir. You're ready to jump anytime. See you later. Woo! Yeah! Woo! What an asshole. 
Nothing to worry about. Our equipment is first rate. There's no danger at all. You wouldn't have had him sign that waiver if there was no danger. Would you like to come back and remove your safety harness then? On the other hand, my boss did pay for it. Is she doing it too? <laughs> Ella backs up to the edge and feels nothing but air on her heels. A tingling feeling that goes straight up her spine along the harness. She smiles at the worker and falls backwards, allowing the feeling of weightlessness to seize her heart. That's hilarious. She waits for the rope to become fully stretched, then bounce back, pulling her back up. Then she hears the sound of a splash in the roaring wind. Well, that Volpo unlocks his own harness? He's gone! <laughs> What a dumbass. Don't get sunburned when you enjoy the beach. Buy some Brera Dude sunscreen now and get a free set of tail care oil. What is that? That girl with cat ears was handing them out. I took one. It's true that UV rays are strong around here. Not that. This. Polishing stone for horns. What are they battle? <laughs> Who would have thought there would be such a wonderful vacation spot in war-torn boulevard? I was dreading this business trip at first. It's been great, except the salt water makes your horns rough. I need to polish mine when we get back to the hotel. Look at me back. <laughs> and conditioner tailored to Volpo, Lupo, and Feline. 10, li ten liter set. <laughs> I mean, I know they have ears and tails and all. This batch is a good one. Let's talk details on the beach tomorrow. They'd better be worth the price. Okay, they need it. <laughs> Nothing can surprise me now. Oh yeah, a demon and an angel. Frowns disapprovingly. Goes around scornfully. <laughs> Their facial reactions just match. Oh my god. Oh. Let's welcome our guest today, Mr. Reno Kowalski, the new star of Destiny's art scene. Thank you, Destiny's TV, for giving me the chance to be scorned by thousands sitting in front of their television screens and a way for them to let off some steam. Hey, isn't that the owner of the Galleria, Kritzawa? Oh, my screen went black. What the fuck? Did my cord get unplugged? Okay, they need it. Nothing can surprise me now. Friends are disapprovingly. I didn't expect to hear his voice on the street. I wonder if Ella and Fuse are getting along with him. I have a hunch he's one of them who's getting on your nerves. If you're not playing, get lost. <clears throat> you're scaring away customers with that shabby outfit. Hmm? I'm just advertising the... Uh, sorry, I'm just advertising your community festival. I'm not bothering your guests. You better not be. Hey, folks, want to check out our festival? Take a flyer. It's a real special event in the art, street art community. Thanks, but I don't think we'll have the time. You're not going to that glass house opening, are you? Don't let that guy fool you with his fancy talk. He doesn't know anything about art. Uh, come on, take a flyer. What does it say? Hmm, I would be interested in checking it out if they manage to pull it off. The ceremony will stimulate Darcelise's <clears throat> artistic and cultural fields. My staff and I have prepared extensive plans for acquisitions, business development, and growth. What did that say? Sector growth. The opening of Gallery Kritzawa <coughs> will be a turning point in Darcelise's economic history. Now I'm more interested in what's on the flyer. Blub, 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 blub. Get out of the water. <laughs> Are you out of your mind, you son of a vixen? Wake up, you bastard. Ooh, what the fuck? Weird. Wake up, you bastard. Stop playing dead. I can feel your pulse. <laughs> Just a moment of capriciousness. 
Uh, releasing the shackles that bind me at the closest point to the surface and falling freely into the water. Isn't that much more fun than just bouncing up and down on a rope? I'm sorry, Mr. Reynold, but I don't think I can continue to serve as your bodyguard. Thank you for giving us a place to stay. My squad and I will move out tomorrow. Come on. I've fallen into water from even greater heights. See, I'm completely fine, am I not? No need to get angry. I can't protect a man who plays jokes with his life. You're mistaken, Miss Ella. I have a goal that I've been working towards for many years. Until it's complete, no one values his life more than I do. Remember to wipe yourself dry. I can't I can tell your constitution is not as strong as ours. Don't you know? Once you step through this door, it's not up to you whether you get back you get to step back out through it again. I come in good faith, Capitan Matteo. Ugh, good faith after the reception my men got from your boss. Why can't you and Reno stop bickering with one another? Interesting question. Is he going to hand over the plot of land where the street art community is squatting? Get in my way, and you get in the way of the Boulevard's coalition government. Kazimierzyn, <clears throat> with nothing but money, thinks he can negotiate with a government representative just because he hired a few mercenaries? Reynold doesn't want to fight. Reynold doesn't want to fight you over a piece of land. If he could, if we can reach an agreement, he is happy to cede control to the land to you or to the coalition government. It makes no difference. Can you speak for him? I do. We could have been talking about this under more am amicable circumstances, if not for the ill-conceived kidnapping attempt. You blame me for that? It was an unfortunate misunderstanding. No need to make excuses for me. I don't care, just tell me. What does Reyna want? One doesn't do business in Bolivar for long without the support of a par powerful patron, someone like you. I spent most of my years in the army, not the classroom. Gets the point. Well, that neighborhood is not so much... What? It's not so much a home for artists as a lawless place where gangs roam unchecked. We had plans for its development, but the residents were utterly vicious. Even worse, there are infected living among them. Ah, uh, I don't like him now. You thought money could solve all your problems in Desilies? Yes, only those who, who are can. <laughs> only those who are can solve problems get to enjoy the ultimate fruit. I really get tripped up on misspelled sentences, or words and, and poorly structured sentences. I don't know your style or skills, so I think the quickest way <clears throat> would be to simulate a engagement. Two teams. Four in each team. Best of three. Come on, you should at least say five in a team. That's what it's actually like in Rainbow Six Siege, man. Attacking team tries to locate the hostage and rescue him. Defending team tries to stop the attackers from rescuing the hostage. Any questions? Who's the hostage? For the sake of fairness, me. <laughs> At least he can't kill the hostage that way then. In uh, Siege, a lot of times people who play as Fuse put a cluster charge. Oh, it's an old thing because hostage isn't really a played game mode anymore. He put the cluster charge on the wall and it like bores through the wall and shoots a bunch of little like hockey puck shaped things into the room and a lot of times they just did it into the room with the hostage whenever there's a fuse on the team in hostage a lot of times the hostage would be dead and that your team would lose because of it but uh so it just became a meme that he cluster charges the hostage every round i'm in through the window room's empty moving to the next one hey watch where you're going you watch where you're going Why did you go quiet for so long? What the hell? Quiet! I've already searched the direction you're going in. There's nobody there. Didn't you hear it on the radio? Radio? Well, I dropped my earpiece out the window. I was looking for you to get a new one. Two enemies down. I can hear them from a mile away. Yeah. That's how an actual match in Siege would go. 
How about you crouch behind this board, maybe show an inch or two of your head so as to draw their attention. Three of us will guard the only door and take them out as they enter. You're not concerned that I could get hurt? Get hurt? Nah, we got them the moment they step inside. Damn it, the Virginia Marks. I can't see. They're coming in through the window. Stay back. Hostage found. There are three idiots waiting by the door. <laughs> looks like they forgot there's more than one way in. The bright flash looks like it worked well. Well, hey, what's that guy doing? Get away from me, damn it! Get away! Defender, attacker, he he's shooting blindly! Where are my teammates? All down! This is too accurate to a siege map match right now. Russian swearing. Stop! Stop! You guys are real eye open. <laughs> They're shooting the hostage. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, attackers are the ones with flash grenades. So they throw a flash into a room. Enemy can't see. They just start spraying, hoping for the best. They will also shoot the hostage. <laughs> You're back earlier. I thought... <clears throat> I thought you'd be out enjoying places. I don't let you go. Uh, there was an accident. You hurt? No, Miss Eloquit. This is the 32nd bodyguard who's had enough of you. I can't spend all day with you when I've got my own job to do. What about your negotiations with the Capitan? He took the bait. Good. Now we'll see how our friends in that community perform. He'll have his hands full. I've spent long enough dealing with those artists to know that if there's one thing they do well, it's causing trouble. Misella, have you handed in your resignation papers yet? Poppers? No one told me HR is closed today. Ah, my staff has always been capricious. It's such a headache. Before I go, you should know that the sculpture at the center of the special exhibit is a counterfeit. It's a tiny bit different from the other works by the same sculptor. You should look into it. Oh? Maybe your dealer ripped you off. I guess that's a fact of life for a businessman like you. <laughs> I'm starting to regret letting you go, Masella. Oh, yeah? You have a good eye. I was the one who made the counterfeit. I kind of liked it, so I just left it out. It's been there for a while. You're the first one to realize it's a fake. Maybe others just don't dare to point it out. <clears throat> Since that doesn't bother you, my friends and I will be going. Just a moment, Masella. What is it? Would you keep working for me if I promise to behave? Well, that's something you don't see every day. <laughs> You're trying to persuade me to stay? Yes. Don't you want to see the authentic piece? You must have spent a lot of time with that sculpture's work to notice such a tiny detail. I hope you can keep your promise. Why is she interested in art? Is she in the game? I don't know her lore that well. Like I said, she's pretty much the only character I didn't pay attention to in the game. How far to Desilies, <clears throat> Ernesto? It's funny that I had Catapult in my team, and she's important to the story. We're almost there. You've been saying that for days. Yes, we're almost there. Once I deliver this batch of medicine, I'll take you to a sunny beach where you can lie down for a whole day. Far away from any casinos or bars. I could live with bars. I understand that some people need to drink their problems away. Hey, how did you know I don't like casinos? It's my first time taking a partner <clears throat> partner operator home to Desilies, so I asked Orchid before <laughs> about you before we left. Then you know what happened when I left my homeland. A brave act, and when I went back, not honorable choice. Well, it's not something I'm ashamed of. It's just a little more fit to be shared over a drink or two, not like this. Well, you can buy me a drink when we get to Desilies. That's my price for hearing the story. Deal? Deal. That was fun. I'm excited to play more of this. This is so much fun. Um, I'm excited to play more of this. Doc, Fuse, Ella, Yana. Um, who are the ones that are in the other one? I don't know. Um, all our abilities are accurate. She places her little drone. Well, other than hers, I guess. Because she doesn't like teleport into where the drone was. Or the drone doesn't deal damage at all. Um... His ability to heal an ally or himself is really accurate. And his revolver is is a very hard gun to use. So it's funny that it only lets him shoot two spaces in front of him. 
Her gun has always been super strong, so it makes sense that she's the six star. And her ability's always been super strong as well. And for Fuse, it's funny seeing him use the LMG because he's had the LMG since the start of the game. And sometimes the weapons switch, but very rarely. But like, he is only good with his LMG. His shield is okay, but then there's no point in t playing as him because there are shield operators that do better things than he does. Like uh, Montagne, he has a shield that expands to cover like a huge area around him. And then Blitz, who has a shield that has like a giant flashbang on the front and it like flashes everyone in front of him. It's really helpful. So like taking a shield on him isn't really good, but what can you say? <laughs> what can I say? Um, that's it for this one though. So like this video, like and subscribe, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna keep playing Minecraft soon. I might place that for Friday. Um, I'm definitely gonna record a lot of this so I can get it done in time. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I said, this video is Tuesday. I'm probably gonna post Wednesday, then Friday as well. Um, so, if you're excited for this series, like and subscribe. I love to have you guys around. Um, like I said, Minecraft's gonna be on Fridays. And if you wanna join the Discord, we have active members in there. Why don't you join and say hi? Um, a lot of people that like to play Ark Knights in there, basically. <laughs> um... And if you want to support the channel, go over to the Ko-Fi. That will also be in the description. Buy me a coffee, and I'd appreciate it a lot. That's it, though. So, you better have a good night, and bye-bye!